Happy Monday, you guys. It's Barb from Barberlin Budgets and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm really glad that you're here. So in today's video, I'm just going to do a spending recap for the week of April 2nd through April 8th. And I'm going to do the $100 savings challenge. I hope I can complete that today. Just joking. I'm going to complete that today. So anyway, I'll get right to it. So last Sunday on April 2nd, my son had his first rugby match and we were there all day. It was from like, I don't know, noon to 530. And so once the rugby, rugby match was finished, he was like, mom, I'm starving. So we went to Wendy's and we spent $12 and 78 cents at Wendy's. And then we left there and I went to the grocery store and I spent $56 and 90 cents on some groceries. And then I zeroed out my bank account for $6.48. So now, as of April 2nd, 2023, zeroing out $6.48, we have $86.26 saved in my savings account that's going to go towards a principal-only payment to, some, to either my truck or my house payment or maybe both. Okay, then on Monday... Um, my sewer bill came out. It was $103.37. I actually paid that on the 1st, but it was due on the 3rd. So that's how I have it on my calendar. I went to Staples and I spent some miscellaneous money for $11.46. I did a side hustle and I had to go to Staples and buy some um, products to use. And so that's what I bought at Staples. On Tuesday, I had a no spend day. On Wednesday, I went back to the grocery store and I spent $31.94. I wanted to get a couple things for Easter. My mom told me that this grocery store had spiraled ham on sale for $0.79 cents a pound, and they did, and it was fantastic ham, so I'm really glad I went. Then on Thursday, I had another no-spend day, and along came Friday. So it was Good Friday, and my son did not have school. And I actually used a few hours of vacation time from work for Good Friday. Not the whole day, just a couple day, couple hours in the afternoon. My son went to the movies with his friends from school. And so I gave him like $25, I believe. It was actually $22 because I had a 20 and two singles. And so he spent $14 at the movies. The movie ticket was 10 something and then he got a drink. He had a little candy in his pocket, you know, movie candy is way too expensive. But anyway, so he went to the movies and then when he came out of the movies, he told me that he had $8 left, I think. It was 7 or $8 and we went to McDonald's and we spent $7.60. And here's a funny thing. So he comes out and he gives me the dollars and then he has change in his pocket. And I was like, oh, you also had change? He said, no, my friend had change and he dropped it on the floor and said he didn't want it. And I got it so you could put it into your bank. I was very impressed by that. See, he's smart. He knows he needs to save. Anyway, while he was at the movies, I went to the Dollar Tree and I spent $8.95 buying things for Christmas. I went to Mark's, which is like a deep discount small store. And I spent $126.72 for Easter. I went to Mally's Chocolate. And I spent $25.95 for Easter. And then I went to Target and spent $12.98 on multiple bags of chicken nuggets. Because by the time I did all of this and he went to the movies and I worked most of the day, I didn't feel like cooking. So we had chicken nuggets and fries. So then on Saturday, I got up and went over and helped my father out. I cut his grass and did some things for him. And then I ended up back at the grocery store because my daughter was here. So she needed certain things cause she can't have, you know, she's lactose intolerant and she's trying to go gluten free cause she has some belly issues. So I spent $26 and 22 cents on that. I went back to Target. Well, I did an online order from Target and I spent $73 and 57 cents. And then I went and got gift cards for my kids Easter baskets. And that was $50. I ended up back at the grocery store at like 10 o'clock at night because my daughter wanted asparagus. So that was $4 and 61 cents. And then I went back to Target and bought my daughter a book for her Easter basket 
and my youngest son some hair products for his Easter basket. So I did have $250 set aside for Easter, but I ended up spending $320. So I did go over. It came out of my savings. So at least I had it saved, but I did spend more than I planned to. It just is what it is, I guess. I mean, I, I, I was mad at myself because I could feel myself, especially on Saturday when I spent that $73.57. I ordered it sitting at home online to go pick it up. Like, you know, pick it up within like two hours. And I knew, like I had already spent all this money on Friday. Did I really need that stuff? And then even that evening, I was like, oh, I want to get some more stuff for my two younger kids' baskets. And they already had plenty. And I, I just felt myself go back into my old habit. And I just, I'm a little bit upset with myself for that. But you know, I'm not perfect. And so things happen. So for the week, I guess we didn't do so bad. Uh, um, for bills, it was 103.37. Of course, I zeroed out at $6.48. I'm going to put $10 to savings, which you'll see in a minute. And I spent $498.95. So that was a little bad. Could have been worse, I guess. At least it was for my kids for Easter and it wasn't, I, I don't know. So anyway, I'm not mad at myself anymore. I'm over it. I have to let it go. But hopefully I'll be able to save $300 next year. So just in case I do this again, I'll have the $300 saved. I didn't have a savings challenge for Easter this year. I just had it in my savings account because I, I think I've told you guys before, I have money that comes out of my paycheck that goes into a separate bank account for Christmas and other holidays. And that's where the $250 was. So I had to take the other $70 out of my savings account. Okay, so that's it for the week. And so now we are gonna finish the $100 savings challenge in a janky envelope that I started with Liz and Les. We started this on February 5th and we simply put $10 a week away in an envelope. And it was just a plain envelope. It didn't have to be anything fancy. This is actually a return envelope that I would have to put a stamp on and I'm just going to go ahead and add the $10 and we're going to finish this. So today is $4,923. We're adding $10 and we should be at $100. So let's see where we're at. So now we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. So this $100 is going to go towards my Roth IRA. I am going to add this to the money that is from Shut the Box. And that is going to go combined together. And I'm actually going to start filling out my tracker for the 2023 and 2023 because I haven't been filling that out yet. And that I was going to use that money towards the Roth IRA. So I'm going to use this in the Shut the Box money. And I'm going to start that challenge and it's going to go towards my Roth IRA. So, yeah. I hope you guys understood what I meant. I was just kind of rambling there. So, that's all I have for you. It was a short, quick video. I hope you guys have a wonderful week ahead. And remember that Jesus loves you. And I do too. And I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.